Tim Sylvie is a longtime guy there. What's the relationship now with Tim? And can I, I'll, I'll ask you straight out, what is he doing with Ray Mercer? Because as a, as a boxing and MMA guy, I'm confused by the whole thing and what the goal is. <laughs> I don't know what the goal is. I do know that I don't care how old Ray Mercer is, you don't win a world title unless you can thump, especially in boxing. Um, he, I think what he, he just knocked out like the number four guy or something, one of the ranked guys, and he's still, he, he's not to be messed with. And uh, we'll have to see what Tim can do with that because, I mean, having had five bo you know, match, uh, pro bouts in boxing, it's a whole different world. People talk about it and I tell them, you know what, do not confuse the two. Boxing and MMA are two different worlds, and I mean two different worlds. You look at someone like a Mayweather or a Pacquiao that can do that with just hands, they're incredible, and no, you're not going to find a training partner in MMA that can do that to you. If you go, you want to go pro in boxing, go pro in boxing and, and find out. They can do some amazing things, so Tim's going to find out real quick, but as for my relationship with Tim, personally, I love him. I think Tim's a great guy. He's also the, you know, he's the godfather to my son. Um, I love him on a personal scale. Professionally, yeah, sometimes you got to just step back and go, damn, Tim, what are you doing, you know? He's taking a risk, too, because he's got now another fight lined up, basically, I think it's like seven weeks later against Paul Bentello, which can kind of vault him back, you know, to a nice level. I'm sure he's making a nice paycheck there with affliction, so you, you'd hate to see him go out, maybe get injured or lose, and, you know, kind of lose a little reputation. Well, and that's one of those things, again, I think they're taking boxing as sparring. I think they're taking this fight with Mercer as a sparring bout, and they're going to find out real fast. It's, Mercer probably isn't taking it as a sparring bout, and he's definitely not going to swing like it's a sparring bout. So, you know, I mean, two bumps like that in, in, in your road, especially when you went in there and you fought Fedor, who was the best guy at, at the heavyweight division, and he stomped you in 32 seconds. I'm not going to say that was fluke or that wouldn't happen. He stomped you in 32 seconds. And so, you know, he's got to definitely – look at that and sees this and go, man, th this could be two big bumps in the road if he's not careful.